Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be on software defined radio and we're going to look at something called RF pollution. Uh, RF pollution basically what it means that any radio which is uh, doing an unwanted transmission, how we can visualize that and also if the transmitter is supposed to let's say transmit 5 watt, uh, if it start transmitting 10 watt, it will start causing interference to the adjacent band and that causes also interference too. So just probably we have heard of uh, noise pollution and different type of environmental pollution. This is also one of the pollution because due to the information age that we're living in right now uh, and RF spectrum is nowadays is a commodity. So we're going to visualize first of all we're going to visualize our RF, RF spectrum and we're going to uh, look at what are so we're going to use a transmitter to transmit a signal that will cause an unwanted noise sort of unwanted transmission that will cause interference in the man which will consider to be as an RF pollution and we're going to see uh, that using uh, our software defined radio uh, that I'm using which is hack RF and we I'll have another source which will be generating that unwanted uh, signal that would be disrupting your RF, uh, RF spectrum and causing interference. So having that said, uh, let's just look at it. I have my hack RF right now is connected to my laptop and for that purpose and I'm running Dragon OS Focal uh, using my jump drive. So there's a tool called hack RF spectrum analyzer. Just simply go there and ls it and you need to run this script. So anything that is in green, I only consider this to be a Python script. This is my way of thinking and I will always try to run it uh, using so so period forward slash hack RF enter and it's going to start running this script. Now make sure you have hack RF is connected. This particular script is only for hack RF. You cannot use any other software defined radio platform to run this script. Now, if you were to look at it, the default frequency is starting from 2400 megahertz all the way up to 2500 megahertz, but we're gonna we're not gonna use that. So we're gonna simply go down. The claim frequency for this device is from 10 megahertz, so we're gonna choose just to be on the safe side. We're gonna go from 50 megahertz all the way up to six gigahertz. So we're gonna look at that entire band at once. So right now you're looking at from 50 megahertz all the way up to 2500 megahertz. But we're going to go ahead and, and change this to, to from 50 megahertz all the way up to uh, 6000 megahertz. So this is an entire spectrum that you're looking at right now. And all the transmission, uh, you cannot have a universal antenna, but the antenna that I'm using, you can see pretty much there's a lot of transmission which is taking place. So this hack RF is now working in a receiving mode. I can just simply increase the gain a little bit. So if you were to just take this as a noise floor, your noise floor is somewhere around negative 70. Let's just try to increase the gain and let's see, do I see any more spikes? So basically what, when you're looking at it first, this is how I would like, you know, perceive this is that every spike that you're seeing is there some kind of a transmission which is happening. So as you can see from 50 megahertz all the way up to 6,000 megahertz, our spectrum is quite populated spectrum because there's a lot of things which is going on in this spectrum. And uh, so just in, let me increase the gain to about 52 dB. And so you can see this, that some of the, uh, some of the lines or some of the transmission is getting clearer and clearer. You can also go to chart option and then select like different type of frequency. So if you choose US, U, USA, you will see that there are different allocation for different frequency bands. So for example, if I go here, so th these bands are allocated for different purposes and things like that. The thing that I wanna show you, what is actually RF pollution is? Any transmitter that is transmitting higher power that is disrupting the signal, that considered to be RF pollution. So for example, if you're supposed to, and one of the key example being jamming. A jamming is a form of RF pollution because you're trying to disrupt the signal by sending an unwanted signal that not that was not supposed to be there, but you're transmitting it using your device. And in our case, is going to be a 
software defined radio type platform so for example now if you were to just look at this so you're looking at an spectrum of 50 megahertz to 60 and don't 6000 megahertz a lot of consumer band application lie in this band a lot of consumer applications so you, you start off from 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 uh, like 108 to 88 to 50 mega, uh, 108 megahertz you got like fm broadcasting that at 400 megahertz band you have something uh, other thing going in then you have somewhere around 900 megahertz band so that's like your gsm and things like that and then you go further a little bit you have uh, satellite which is 1575 which is somewhere around here then at 1090 you have adsb and then 1800 band is also another band for mobile telephony then you have 2100 megahertz band which is also dedicated for mobile telephony depend on your region at 2.4 gigahertz you have your wi-fi band and then some other transmission then another spike at 500 gigahertz band around 575 so there's a lot of different transmission which is happening that my radio is seeing right now uh, some of them are just for consumer application, but some of them are for navigation and things like that and so on. So now what is an RF pollution is? Basically, let's do, let me give you a demo of this. So now I have a transmitter. I'm going to plug this transmitter in and all of a sudden, okay, this particular transmitter that I'm using, it's operating at 2.4 gigahertz band. So now it's going to start causing RF pollution or interference. So if you were to visualize it, spike can you can you see this here what's happening here at this band and this band all of a sudden there's a lot of noise or there's a lot of pollution that start taking place in our spectrum and that is not good so any transmitter that's supposed to transmit a certain amount of power which is not transmitting is it, it either is transmitting higher amount of power or it's not supposed to transmit at that particular band is going to cause uh, our pollution and that is harmful because consider this, just like your environment, this RF environment is also a commodity. Because companies and uh, uh, and your service providers, they pay for that service. They, they pay for to get license or to get lease of a particular spectrum for a certain period of time. And and if you are start transmitting on that, that will cause an interference and will cause pollution like this. So let me remove this, let me turn off this transmitter and as you can clearly see, your spectrum goes back. Now, if you I mean, if you start your transmitter again, you can see the disturbance. All of a sudden, you have disturbance over here in this region, around 1500, 1200 region, and then you start having disturbance around this region as well. So this is what I mean to say when I think of when you think of our pollution. What is that? This is what it is. Unwanted signal, which was not supposed to be there, but they are there. That is disrupting the the RF environment. So I hope you like this small tutorial uh, in the understanding of what is RF pollution is. If you have any questions, just leave it in a comment section. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.